Chicks are delicious. Mm. And I did 10 in the time you took to do one. Hi guys, welcome back. Today is Easter by the time you're watching this. So happy it's Easter, Easter everyone. It's actually not Easter at all. What do you mean it's, it's not, not Easter. Easter? We're on the eve of Good Friday. I haven't actually eve, introduced good, you yet, so you can't Friday, be speaking right good now. Good Friday Eve, which I think it's very important. We're both wearing, well you're wearing like a navy, I'm wearing black. You know why? Because what is Good Friday? What happened on Good Friday? Isn't it actually like a bad Friday? I mean, I would consider what happened on Good Friday bad. For... A, One person. Well, for good Christians, it seems like a terrible day. Anyway, I am with my husband Lance. We're going to make some Easter chicks. It's actually quite a healthy recipe for what how much of a treat it is. Okay. Can I tell I, I'm gonna I'm gonna struggle through this one. Why? It's 7 p.m. Yes. At after 4.30 I can't have coffee, because if I have coffee after 4.30 p.m., I can't sleep. Fine, so we're gonna not have coffee. But when I don't have coffee, how am I as a human being? You're awful. As a human being. So what we're gonna do is, well, I'm gonna tell you the ingredients that you're gonna need. So the ingredients that you're gonna to need to make these chicks are one tablespoon of flour, half a cup plus two tablespoons of canned coconut milk, one teaspoon of stevia, three tablespoons of maple syrup, one cup of desiccated coconut, quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a tiny bit of salt. And for the toppings, you're gonna to need some pecans, some chocolate chips, goji berries, almonds, so, we're gonna get cracking with it. Did you already film the bits? We've already filmed the bits. You already filmed the ingredients? The bits were already filmed. This is a fraud, this whole show. I came in here, I was working downstairs, I was trying to like do my job. I was trying to save you time. Calls me upstairs and says, hey, we've got chicks upstairs. I'm like, how has that ever interested me in my entire life, got chicks upstairs? You know what I mean? I love women, friends, whatever, but chicks says, you know, like I'm supposed to, there's like supposed to be an attraction or something like that. So I'm like, I'm just gonna keep working because I'm not interested in that way in chicks. But here I am, no coffee, we're gonna make some chicks. Yeah, okay. We're gonna make some chicks and I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna do because you're gonna do it, okay? So first thing is you're gonna add the coconut into here. In fact, there's no real order, you just gotta get all of that in there and mix it together. This that's, for the, that's for the topping. Uh, coconut. Yes. That's added. Oh, there's like a little bit right there, a little bit right there. A little bit right there. A little bit right there. A little more. Don't want to waste any of it. Now you can... We don't want skinny chicks. I don't like skinny chicks. Fine. Now you can add the flour. We've got wholemeal flour, but you can use plain flour as well. Now you can add the coconut milk. Careful. Sweet. Okay. Well, it's unsweetened coconut milk, sorry. Okay, you can just leave it, just leave it. Just leave it. Horrible. You can put it to one side. Well done. Now you can add the vanilla extract. Mm. Well, actually, vanilla. I have to say, I'm gonna tell everyone, he's cheated several times on these recipes and we were actually out of vanilla and he used like some sweet, what is it, what did you use? Maple syrup. He used it like a, a something else and we lied to you. And we used it, and when I was tasting it, it actually tasted good, but it didn't taste like it was supposed to taste, and then I had to pretend like it tastes like it has vanilla in it, which is really a testament to my acting abilities. I just want to be honest with you, he lied. Okay, well now we're actually going to put some maple syrup in. That's actual maple syrup. That's actual maple syrup. We, how do we know it's maple syrup? Because it is. It says in the jar. Mm -hmm. That's actually really good. Okay, you can leave that to the side. Oh, okay. I'm going to get it all in there. Way smart. What not? So next thing that's gonna go in is the stevia. And a little bit of salt. Stevia? Yes. Okay. Who is Steve? So now we need to mix that together. Okay. Do I do that? that? Yeah, you're gonna do it, yep. Yeah. Well is done. Is there a technique? No, just mix. Okay. Yeah. Mixing. And while you're mixing, yep. I'm gonna put the oven on at 180 degrees Celsius. Huh. 180 degrees Celsius or 360 degrees Fahrenheit, I think is the conversion. Something okay. like that. Anyway, I'm going to put that on. While he's doing that, can I share a little fact with Lance? Facts with Lance. Alright, so you're going to pay careful attention here, because this is a, this is a tough one, alright? This is Easter. If you're trying to determine the actual date for Easter, as a general rule, you can say that Easter 
is going to fall on the first Sunday following the first full moon after March 21st. What on earth are you talking about? Uh, Easter is on the first Sunday after the first full moon after March 21st, but not always. It's super clear. I don't, I don't know why that's not super clear. I'm going to finish mixing for you like that. And now what we're going to do is while the oven is heating up, what we do with this mixture before we get it onto a baking tray is we are going to put it into the microwave for a minute and a half, mix it, and then another minute and a half and mix it again. Go for it. I, I didn't pay attention. I thought I was just sitting here being pretty. So one of us has to be the pretty one. You know what I mean? One of us has to do it. I thought if there's anything I can bring to this relationship, it's the pretty. Pretty stupid. <laughs> so now that's out the microwave, look at that, it's kind of into like a clump of mixture so that it's kind of easier to be able to hold its shape. Yeah. We need to create little balls mm, cool. to put onto a baking tray See, and then I'm, put I'm them in I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is, please, dear comment section, the, the filth that comes out of my mouth in some of these, I swear, I don't have a one track mind. I get onto a very respectable track and he says things like, let's make little balls. Which, first of all, why would you want to make little balls? But Now we are going to actually make the bodies of the chicks. So what you're going to do, just take a spoon, you can use an ice cream scoop, whatever you want. And this should be, be able to make like around 12 um, little chicks. So what you're going to do is you're going to get the spoon, put it onto the little tray and kind of create like a body-ish shape. So why do we, why are chicks like a symbol of Easter? Why do we think, oh, okay, we're, we have little chicks and, and, and Easter eggs. Why is that the symbol of Easter? Why has that become a part of how we Because an it? egg is a new beginning. It's a birth of life. Rebirth. Eggs. Is that actually right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, this is all, <laughs> Easter is about rebirth. And little chicks come wobbling out of little eggs that are hatched. Uh, that that the little eggs come from what? Chicken. Chickens. Hopefully you don't paint the ones that have got chicks inside, though. How about we rebirth your interest in doing this? Okay. Uh, there's a spoon there. Oh, I see. All right. Oh, goodness. No, stop. We don't have enough mixture for that. Really? With it. For most of my life, I've really resisted eating chicks, but. Guys, we're not say you gay men out there. Chicks are delicious. Mm, I love eating chicks. You are like the most useless person to do this with right now. I'm not. I'm doing. I'm doing. Making. I'm doing quality control. Can we? Can we zoom in on my chick buddy? Versus yours are very like impressionistic. Yeah. They, they speak to me about anger. Mm -hmm. And I did ten in the time you took to do one. Quality versus quantity. Quality. Quantity. No, 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 I'll tidy mine up. Now that the like coconut macarons are ready, they're gonna go into the oven for about 14 minutes. Until they go kind of crispy. You'll know when they're ready, but about 14 minutes. Now that the macarons have cooled, we can take them and start decorating them. Mm. Do you know the idea that behind this, right? Uh, We're gonna make chicks. Yeah. So this is the body. We've got some little chick feet. See, let chick feet. I'm gonna stick them in. How do you stick it in? Just with a little bit of force. Mm. Look, so you've got the chick's feet, then an almond. Yeah. A beak. Okay. Chick beak. A beak. Chick beak. Chick beak goes in. Shove the chick beak in. And then these are the eyes. Okay. You just look it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Everyone knows it. That's what's happening at your local bakery. No, you pro there's probably a better way to do that, right? <laughs> Definitely. Could you, could you actually, you could actually like heat them up a little or something. Yeah, couldn't yeah, you? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Final bit mm -hmm. is to stick these goji berries, yeah, super fruit, into okay. the top to create. It's like. So what's what is that called that you're making? It's hair. It's hair. No, no, no. There's actually a name for for it. At least in America, we call that the comb. Right? The red on top of what, Tom? Do, do chicks have red combs on top of their head? No, you know what has red combs? By the way, not even a chicken. The boys have a comb on top. 
The boys are called what? Not chickens, not chicks, they're called cocks. I dedicated myself to keeping this clean at Easter, but Tom Daly has just put the cock back in Easter. Congratulations. Filth. It is a beautiful cock. I'm not sure that it's Easter appropriate. Well, those eyes have started to fall off. I've made a chick, right? A little bit of yellow, uh, the little feet, the little beak, the little eyes. It's so cute. And then there's this with the goji berries. That brought filth to your Easter. Just in, in, in case you don't want to serve spit to your friends and family, now melted some chocolate. Yeah, nice, nice chocolatey finger. You use it to stick it on that. Yeah, there you go. stick a little. There you go. So you got go. chalky cock. So there we have it, our Easter cock and our Easter chick. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Comment if you ever make some of them. And also, don't forget to send us your chick pics because, you know, it's always fun to see what creations your chick come picks. up with. But what if they make one of those? What would you call that? A male chick pic. So, I have a different one for it. Make sure you subscribe and we'll be back again very soon. But for now, I'm gonna eat them. Although I don't wanna eat this one because this one's really pretty. Oh, I'll let me eat a see. different one. No, 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 no. Let me just see it. No, 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 no. Oh, Tom. No. Bye.